welcome to another episode of The Screenshot, your go-to destination for youth culture, entertainment and social issues. My name is Melinda and I am your host. This week we want to talk about family dynamics. We want to talk about the relationship between young people and their guardians, their parents, how they navigate certain hurdles that they face. We also want to talk about sibling rivalry. We also want to dive into parental expectations. So joining me today to have this conversation are two amazing young women and I'm going to let them introduce themselves. We'll start with you, ma'am. So, hi. My name is Tanisha. Tanisha, mostly known as Nisha. Well, I'm a director of Umkondoma Kosi Movement, which we started early this year. So, I'd like you guys to follow our socials, Umkondoma Kosi. Yeah. Hi, Tanisha. So. Yes, Prim. Uh, hello, hello. My name is Ndavo Primrose. I'm a disability activist and a sign language interpreter. Oh, I didn't know. <laughs> Hi, ladies, and welcome to the screenshot. So, I'm going to talk about, you know, family dynamics, and you know why we're here. <laughs> <laughs> so, first Definitely. of all, I want, to, I want to pose this question. And what are your family's expectations of you guys? We'll start with you, Nisha. Okay, so as for my mom, well, I had to ask her this question in the morning. She expects me to be uh, a young, okay, let me not say young, an independent woman. Mm. She expects me to be independent, not to depend on anyone else. And I guess the uh, same goes for my father. He expects me to be independent, a person who can, who doesn't have to depend on a man. Mm -hmm. for anything okay. just be the woman and be get my degree and be something in life yeah okay so that, those are your family's expectations yeah. of you what about you Prim? all right me it's kind of tricky because one i have a disability mm -hmm. so you know you have to have a social expectations as a young woman living with a disability and then there's also a family expectations Okay. So in a family at first, I'm the only one with a disability in Kaya. Okay. So you know, they had to adapt to having a sibling, to having a child with a disability. So they first had to learn how to live with me, how for them to accept me as I am. So during that period in Kola and all, they just had to be like, you know what, be who you want to be. Fly high. The sky okay. is never the limit. Because they were like, whoever says the sky is the limit light, they've never flown beyond the sky. Mm. So they were just, no, I'd fly high. Be whatever you want to be. Okay. So are you guys living up to the expectations on Alessi that you've, <laughs> that you've stated? <Hey. laughs> are you the independent woman that oh. you, your mom and dad want you to be? Okay. I, just, I recently finished my A-level, but... Seeing the way things are going, yes, very much. And yes. I'll make sure it happens. Um, I'll make sure I'll be that independent woman because in me, I also want to be that independent woman. Okay, what about you, Prim? Come on, Jan, so far. I can't say, I know can I'm can so, yes, still trying, mm. but you know, I know the other there are challenges. But yeah. I really do like what you said about Uguti they had to live with you and and you've got all the siblings and mm -hmm. and this you are the first child who has a disability and and they started learning how to live with you so i like that too they let you be whoever you are and, and they never boxed you i really do like that so now let's talk about auntie says mentioning about my siblings can you prim can you tell us where do you fall in like with your siblings okay with my siblings i'm the last born when I tell Nisha. I'm the first born. Yeah, the first born. So yeah, now I'm like, we've got a variety. You guys should have different stories <laughs> on sure. how it is being raised up as a last born and a first born. And so I'll start with you, Prima. Any, any, any rivalries between you and your siblings? You know, when you grow up with other people, kule competition. Competition is there. Mm. No, but everyone of there is one between the first born and me. Could mm. that thing, or what if first born will have this thing? I took the spotlight, I need 
and our Mako and Navas and Bafunde la Peswa, who could you some toy. So one or the other, she or my feel like in love, where ya in a connect, cause soon after you know, the second born. Why list with me being the last born, you know, it's that thing I would say that all the experience were cholesterol first, second, third. Mm. Give me, yes, they were maybe somewhat more experienced. Mm. And then the other thing is, super, I go to, yes, I'm the last born, and then I happen to have a disability. Mm. So they've got this thing that I got all the attention. Like, everything goes to me being the last mm. born. Like, mm. look, look, look. Mm. Hi, my name is is to premium now. Yeah, mm. So that thing, they've got this thing, believe you, go to, you know when the, all the attention is on you because you are the last boy. I will have my responsibilities are my name. They will tell them, but no, last boy, I get to get aliens. I saw that thing. What's the age difference between you and the first born? Uh, <laughs> it's big. <laughs> How big? Like, <laughs> over a decade. Yes. All right. So in a way, I've always heard you to to a that term deputy mom. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's why that's really work between me and the first born young guy. But you know, she is the deputy parent. Okay. Like, so the only person who can say we fight a lot is that is the one is that boy. Because mm. the Cause age, you're closer yeah, in we age. are closer in age. So. Okay. Interesting. What about you? Well, for me, there's most of my life, it's been just me and my younger brother. Mm -hmm. Well, we've got a three year age difference, and it's, it's not that big. Yeah, it's not big. Mm -hmm. And obviously, there are always fights. I'll not lie, mm -hmm. there are fights. Well, I, I recently had my youngest brother, Tabby. So I would say uh, having two younger brothers and being the only sister is at times challenging. Because um, you have to learn, you know, you know boys, okay, the ones, uh, that different attention, that different energy that a girl cannot give out all the time. So um, my, my younger brother, my lighter was like, when I went to boarding school, I went to boarding school in grade three. Mm -hmm. When I came back, I had changed. So it was, no, I hadn't changed. I just grew up. Right, so he always has that thing. But since I went to boarding school, I have changed. I've become more girl, you know. Okay, for me, I've become more girl. You know, when you're yeah, young, okay. you just yeah. you just do anything and everything. But now I cannot do that. You have to be yeah, yeah. lady like <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So it's been that challenge, and also the fact that um, when it comes to favoritism and everything um personally from w what i think uh the favoritism is balanced because um i won't lie from my own i think my younger brother is the favorite one <laughs> when it comes to my mom my mom loves my younger brother like yo i get it he's the only guy and he's the last born to her so it's yeah, and then as for me, they say I'm my father's favorite, which is, well, not true, because my father likes us all the same, from, mm. what, like, from what I've seen, right? And they just say, because of that, I'm the bully of the family. I don't know, I, I, I bully no one. I'm actually a good person. So it's been that, um, you get everything. When Tanisha calls, calls her father, mm. But me, it takes years, but it's not like that. It's mm. it's different. I think maybe because I'm the firstborn and they expect so much from a firstborn. They expect, like, they want me to more like try and build the family more further. So mm. that's why the responsibility falls on me. So he tries a lot to just cover up a lot, like take me to university, make me be the best person I can I could ever be, and then raise the family name. I, that's how I think of everything. I do think I'm a firstborn really to have that burden. You know? Yeah, because <laughs> you know, honestly, I have to set, an, to set an, example an example for, for, the, for the, uh, yeah, for the younger ones, because I cannot expect to be Uma Hopo, and what am I saying to my light is to my younger siblings. But you know what I've noticed? Uh, the difference between your two stories, and eh? mm. Uprimuena being the last born, and 
she got more attention than <laughs> <laughs> and then you at this stage being the first born and maybe is it is it because you're female probably you get the most attention maybe oh when it comes from because you're at a very tender age where anything can just go sideways <laughs> Because <laughs> I was just thinking about it, or maybe there's a different dynamic between girls and boys. Or would you say maybe you had a a a, a last sibling, but in Kazan? Well, I feel like uh, if I had a last sibling, from it depends because my parents separated. From my mom, obviously there was going to be that. <laughs> but still from my mom uh, she's just to me she's neutral and i like i love that about my mom she wants me to be better and that's i feel like if now and Toto is like, yo, guys, eh. No, <laughs> man. <laughs> also, I have been someone, hey, the worst version of myself. I and to say, I wanted to say, so I have a moment to to some extent, yeah, I want to Toto as well, because... Yes, yeah, well, I, that, I think that. And I, I remember... When I was growing up, I used to hate my parents for taking me to boarding school. Like, hey, imagine, you're like... Nine years, seven, nine. Um, yes. <laughs> and then you're there, like. <laughs> and then you're there. I think from grade one up to form four, I was in. And you're there, like, my parents oh, my hate me. <laughs> Honestly, they're taking me away from home to boarding. But uh, as I grew up, I actually loved them for that. It taught me a lot. It taught me a lot. Like, being this. Hey, bread. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, moving on. Prim, do you think Uguti sibling rivalries are inevitable really, in any household? Uguti was really some sort of disagreement. Yes. And I believe we just have to know what sibling A, B, C, D, they'll never get along. Because first of all, we're different. Mm. We've got different personalities, different behaviors, different characters. One or the other, we might clash. Mm. But it to be a big deal. Like, why is there so much in front of the Like, it's a I'm in front of the Why is there so much in front of the angel? So, anything to add? Well, I think obviously you cannot avoid such. Mm. Reason being, ah, uh, it's just the two of us, but hey. Hey, guys, I get fed up at times. I'm like, imagine if it was the 10 of us. Yo, it would be the worst. I feel like it's it's something that has to be there. It helps us grow as siblings. It helps our bonds. It strengthens our bonds in a way. Yeah, like when also, you keep on fighting and fighting, but you'll be fighting him knowing, Kuti, if someone comes to fight him, you fight that person for I Thank him. you. Now, if, like, what is she saying, Kuti, if me and him are, disagreeing we're having our fight please just let it be okay. but the moment the third party comes in you know we forget what it's us we're fighting mm. and then it also helps us because through those conflicts yes, some might be major but some might be minor we also get to identify what no i know my brother that doesn't talk a lot Mm -hmm. This person talks a lot. You know, we also identify a character behavior wise, no, but I mean I'm tinta range, nya was character range. And so if I go situation range, I know how my sister will react or how this one will react. Okay, kinda makes sense. Eh? At least a bit. So now going back to uh, my expectations that most parents have, you know, I always feel like really when you when you enter in club in and <laughs> There's always something expected of you, and so like uh, we mentioned, the Wuti firstborns are usually the ones who carry the burden of carrying the family name. Who can ya kikwebeze la wutwe? Nda na muse nze so la so la so, and it's usually the firstborn. And mm -hmm. but I want to know how do you balance that now your the expectations and now your own dreams and goals and aspirations and sometimes these things might not align you know true 
most of us is a cooler with us as a man about the good dealer, you know. I know you're no doctor or lawyer and all that. <laughs> and maybe when I just want to sit on a couch and talk to people <laughs> and uh, when we end the podcast and stuff. And so sometimes those expectations don't align with your own personal dreams and goals. How do you navigate that? Yeah, personally, um, honestly, um, my, uh, I, I feel like I'm still growing, right? Mm. So as I'm still growing, I'm trying to learn what I really like. Um, I'm trying to explore, right? And then I realized I, I really love the arts industry. Like, I love acting, obviously. When, when we're kids, I'm sure most of us would go and start acting and start doing those, you know. I used to... Yo, guys, you don't know the love I have for acting. For, you love acting. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, um, I think my, fa my father doesn't even know that I ventured into the arts industry. Yeah, that's how it is. But it does now. <laughs> <laughs> now you know. <laughs> yes. But so honestly, nice. um, I try by all means to... F to to balance both, like I'm expected to go to varsity, right? Mm -hmm. Obviously, I recently finished A level. The next step is varsity, mm -hmm. which I really would love to go, guys. Who doesn't want to go to varsity, honestly? <laughs> so, um, I did sciences, right? So, my parents are expecting me to go the sciences route to probably do medicine, do everything, which I'm fine with. Uh, I'm fine with that. I really don't mind. It's okay with. I'm okay with that. And at the same time, I try to do my things. Luckily, my mom understands. She's an understanding person, so she she's just there, like, uh, Tani, you know what you can do? You just do university, and then you can also do your acting thing by the side. It's fine. Mm -hmm. That's how I got motivated to do to open this um kondoma course thing, and then mm -hmm. it just helped like that, and. I don't know, from a young, like as young as I am, if you were to ask my age, I never saw myself as a director twice again. So it just, I try by all means. I try to slot in time for my parents, right? And time mm -hmm. for me. Okay. For you, I go on your blush up on Is it complicated? <laughs> yeah, it is, cause, ah. <laughs> How do you balance that that expectation and your own dreams? No, no. I'm still trying to balance it because I feel like when it comes to what your parents expect and what you want, usually there is a clash. Mm. And it's because in my family, they will tell you what you know, some dollar when the law goes to some dollar and born to the PhD and there you are. So mm. it's it's a lot because now I have lost one or the other. You have to find a lot of figure there. Mm -hmm. And why just personally, honestly, I'm a poor guys, I'm a poor And I feel like if I get that degree, I'm okay as long as things are in the something else. And, but the pressure of what you know, you look at your older siblings, you say what them and books and school, you know, they have besties, mm -hmm. their mm -hmm. friends, and how you feel like. So I can't you know, on my side, it's still a struggle. Right I now I'm still trying to navigate and try to make my parents understand. But please. <laughs> yeah. But I do. I do get her. Yeah. Because when it comes uh, at home, right? I, I think from the two, okay, from the three, I love school. I love school as compared to the others. Um, and that child, Monday, I'll be waiting for the Monday. Then my light is that child will be waiting for the Friday. Mm -hmm. um, I, he's not a school lover, which I get, mm -hmm. but they expect him to love school like me. I did my all levels and passed and everything. And then they expect the same for him to like That's what Prim is saying. love school. <laughs> Mina, I know my limit. I can go for a PhD. I can, as long as I'm just... And then for my life, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. But my mom has realized, good to know, we're two different people, right? Mm -hmm. And then 
I love school. Not that I love it to that job, but I appreciate yeah, school for what it me. is. <laughs> okay, I appreciate school for what it is. Mm. But my light it does not even appreciate it. So she tries by all means. She's there like, at least do your phone for then maybe take you to Polly and then you just finish and get your thing. What is it that he says he wants to do? Uh, he wants to do anything. He likes, you know, engineering and everything. Uh, maybe... Software engineering, that's so what you'll you'll need to feel like you'll need to love school. He'll need to love school, but the thing is, the thing is, he, it's not, he, <laughs> he cannot force it. Um, you, 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 you said everything else, but you didn't say what it is that you actually want to do. All right. Uh, that's a tricky question. Or oh, you still True. haven't figured it out. And it's tricky because, you know, uh, one time I feel like, you know, I can act, I can do that. At the same time, I feel like I love sciences. Mm. Let me go do something along sciences. And then at the same time, I feel like, eh, but I like it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 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 I understand. Um, so I barely passion, sometimes it comes and goes. Eh. Just, you know, and, mm -hmm. But yeah, I am sure you'll figure it out. So my last question to you ladies is, how do you think your family's unique dynamics have shaped who you are today? Oh, all right. I feel like, one, it has made me no embrace who I am, love who I am. Because honestly, if at home they never accept, accepted me with my disability, mm. I was going to have challenges to face the world. Because uh, I learned in a school where there were disabled um, pupils, and, and then for my A level, I went in a school where there were non disabled. So because I was used to Tianka, they don't treat me like someone with a disability, they just treat me as a normal person, mm -hmm. non-disabled person. So I was able to mix, to mingle, to fit in. So I feel like for that, I'm grateful. Mm -hmm. Another thing is, I'm still not getting to learn because I've realized that yes, my parents, they are there, but they are totally different from my other three siblings. And amongst my siblings, amongst themselves, they're So I have to know what if I'm talking to the firstborn in seven is which approach. If I'm talking to the second born, maybe in seven is another approach. If I'm talking to the third born in Mlandela, life to layake approach. So by that it has made me realize to you know, we are all different individuals. Mm -hmm. You know, with different characters. I've learned to appreciate what I think I've now geared what even if I go out there, I'm able to adapt to people's behaviors, people's characters. Because where I come from very level, they are different. Okay, I have a I have a, a question which is a little bit outside of comfort zone, <laughs> but I'm curious to know Uti, how do you get different treatment from people when you when you are anyway like that is not at home yes. like do people treat you differently yes because honestly no at one time someone had to stop me like me hand the tongue mm. like ah so you see what see people outside they see me but most they see my disability like one because and the other thing if i get in a room Mm. You know, before I talk, before I do anything, people first of all get shocked. She's disabled. Yeah, well, so... Mm. Also, I think people be trying to adjust. It's, yeah, true that. But it also, you know, as a person, first impressions count. How you react to me when you see me first, it will make me also react to it. So I want to make them I have a cold shoulder. Not because I want to give you that cold shot, but because of how you reacted when you first saw me. So, yeah. I think, you know what I think? I think I want to, we just need to be educated on how different people are. <laughs> Marazi, you know, some people even mm. react like that when they see, see someone, um, and I, I hope I'm using the correct term, and like an albino one. Mm -hmm. Like it's so, 
shocking but i think by now we should all know what you are all made differently, differently. And it's true, fine true, you know true, and it's okay that. so maybe for the next generation we can teach our kids what everyone is different everyone is okay it's still fine and yeah, but true. thank you prim for for sharing that with me i wanted to know how is the outside reception but at least you could say my band of yeah like I can't even say about when they were feeling because you were right. Who made it okay to be you? That's what I wanted to say. So yeah. shout out to your parents. So Tanisha Ramdo. Well, I never really thought about the family. How it shaped How it shaped me. Ah, no, but the process of shaping. I think so. Mm-hmm. Um, what I've realized, uh, yes, the those small dramas in families, but um. Well, basically, like I grow, uh, I grew up away from home most of the times due to being in boarding school, right? Mm-hmm. And then um, after I grew up, um, my parents separated when I was uh, when I left boarding school. Yeah, so it's it's that thing. You got to. They try, you know. They try not to put the drama in it. It helped me. Uh, see life differently. Like when parents separate, obviously we're all looking at the drama. Yeah, yeah, there's going to be this. But with my with my parents, it's been like the co-parenting. I think it's been the best because they're just simply this. They do that and everything. It's 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 not dramatic. It's not chaotic. It's just. They know Tanisha has to go to school. Tanisha has to do this. Tanisha visits. Uh, uh, on this day, Tanisha goes to her father. On this day, she goes to her mom. Tanisha does this, uh, and it's just so peaceful like that. It's, so it had, it has helped me as a person to know that violence isn't always the way. You know, at times, though, at times violence is needed. <laughs> 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 but <laughs> not in <laughs> everything. <laughs> no, I'm actually. But it's okay. <laughs> it's nice to know who there are parents out there who would who take their divorce and it's it's rare though. Yeah, it's, it's very much rare. To co-parent, then I will am whispering to you about that. Oh, it's very rare. That's it's rare. Place, I yeah, I know. For most uh, kids that I've been with uh, who have divorced parents, yo, hi, those are the kids. But at home. They try and make it less chaotic. They try by all means to make like Bazwana. Okay. You know, like at times you feel like the divorce was like hi, you know what? As is one and as we son, so let's just leave this and be friends, something like that. Because okay. it's not that I, I wouldn't I wouldn't lie, I wouldn't complain go to Obabam ten or Mamami or Mamam ten or Babam. It's just it's just okay. Mm-hmm. That's nice. Well, guys, thank you so much for coming through and talking to me. Drama family dynamics are different today, and I, I'm happy. At least I'm Puma and traumatized, you know. Oh my god, these people are suffering out <laughs> So it's nice to hear, you know, Tanisha comes from a different type of home, you know, and Gaba Sebenzela and you, Prim Lawe, you come from a different type of home from Ega Tanisha, but you know, we're all trying to do something, you know, and thrive. So for everybody at home who was watching, I hope you learned something about from these two lovely young ladies and maybe there will be key takeaways from what they said. If you want us to talk about something on the show, you can leave us a comment on what you want to hear. You can tell us who you would like us to interview. We are welcome we welcome all comments. We welcome, please <laughs> comment down. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching this week's screenshots. Until next week. Bye.